Hey guys, Inder this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus and for Max Pro M1 related to the new custom ROM that is Pixel Experience 10. So day before yesterday, uh, the developer has released the next iteration of Pixel Experience 10 with the build number as 17 of January 2020 and so on. So apart to this, this particular build is having this latest security patch of January that is 1st January 2020 and the Google Play system update 10 apart to this kernel version is 4.4.207 SO50G and so on. Apart to this, the best like uh, the best part of this particular room is that the battery backup. So I haven't faced uh, hardly a one or I would say two percent of ideal. This is at most I'm uh, like discussing, but I would say hardly one percent of uh, ideal battery drainage. So you will really enjoy the battery backup of this particular room. Although I haven't uh, done the thorough review till now, but I will surely be providing my thorough review in the com coming days. And apart to this, these are the uh, like quick settings. So I really like Pixel Experience because they don't uh, give us so many uh, quick settings that one should be uh, will be overwhelmed. And in the same sense, they have provided a very linear set of uh, like quick settings so that one should not be uh, uh, like have to boggle their mind aware uh, that particular quick setting and so on. So apart to this, I, I haven't installed any major apps on this. This is just a bare bone structure where you will be finding this particular basic camera. So we will surely be providing you the Gcam 7 uh, in the coming uh, like uh, after this when we will be discussing our blog and the step by step installation and so on. Basically, this particular video is just a first look and installation part. Apart to this, you will see recorder. This is the wonderful recorder that is a Google recorder. You can play like uh, play with this and you can record and so on. And you will surely feel the uh, benefit like how the Google has been working on their recorder and so on. So let's proceed with the installation part. So for that, I have to boot my phone into the recovery mode. So let me do that. So finally, we have been booted to the recovery mode. Now, before we jump into the installation part, let's discuss few points. So for this, I have already drafted or I would say created a article on my official blog. The URL for the same will be provided to you in the description below. So there is nothing major mentioned in this. There are a few instructions that how to do. Firstly, the Rome developer maintainer that is Madhav Saladi with the nickname as Bablu S. So we are really thankful to him for providing us such a wonderful uh, custom ROM for our beloved handset that is Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. So the very first link is uh, how to download the Pixel Experience 10 ROM. So just tap it here. There is no need of flashing G app. It is already included in this ROM. Apart to this, if you want to root your phone or flash magics, then you can follow this particular URL. Uh, as I've already shown you that the uh, ROM shipped with a very basic camera. So you can install the Gcam 7. It is working uh, except the slow motion. Apart to this, there are a few pre-requirements. So I would say pre-requisite like backup your data, charge your phone's battery at least 50% or more. But I always recommend 80% or more. Then firmware version needed 057 according to the official notification on Telegram. But when I was installing, I have seen the keys related to 059. So I would recommend at least have 059, but on the contrary, I would always prefer to have a latest firmware installed that is 060. If you haven't downloaded or updated, you can follow any of the mentioned six URL for the same. Apart to this, your bootloader should be unlocked. TWRP custom recovery, recovery should be installed. If you are not aware about this, you can follow the same URL which we have provided you on the ref, as a reference. Apart to this, finally, the installation of Pixel Experience Stand Room using TWRP. Firstly, you have to format data, then wipe. Cache Dalvik data and system vendor partition is optional. Apart to this installer flash the downloaded Pixel Experience uh, 10 ROM. Afterwards, just reboot your phone and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. If it is taking more than then just reboot the phone and it will fasten your process. Last but not least, in finally enjoy the Pixel Experience 10 ROM on your Asus Zenfone Max phone. So now let's jump into the installation part. Firstly, according to blog, we have to wipe. Uh, we have to go into wipe. Afterward, we have to format data. So here you just have to type yes just for the confirmation part. And as soon as within two to three seconds, it will do its magic. Afterward, again, go back once more. After that, just tap on advanced wipe inside that Dalvik cache data and system. So basically, we have to select four different partition. Let me remind you again or repeat to you Dalvik cache data and system. Afterward, just swipe to wipe it. It will again take two to three seconds and it will do its magic in the background. Again, go back until unless you move to the home screen of TWRP. Here you have to tap on install. And afterward, you have to select storage. So if you are using OTG pen drive, then you can select that uh, as I'm using micro SD. If you are using the same, then just select it and tap on OK. 
afterward just find out the file where you have kept it like i have kept in my custom rooms then pixel experience and this is the actual file because g apps is already in, uh, included in this so we don't have to flash it separately it is a single file just select it and swipe to confirm flash so it will take some time so this is what i was uh, like mentioning according to that so according to this 1910 then 059 so according to this they are asking for 057 sorry 059 but according to telegram official notification they mention 057 so you just have to take care you can first try on 057 if it is not uh, working with 057 then directly flash 059 and afterward install it so let's wait till the time installation process is completed so finally the installation process is completed now we are having two different option one is wipe cache dial we can reboot i always recommend to do wipe cache dial make so that any junk file in the background will be deleted or will be cleared out afterward you are good to go with the reboot system so you just have to wait 2 to 3 seconds or sorry 2 to 3 minutes until unless your phone would be directly jump into the uh, like pixel experience logo or i would say google logo and afterward the uh, you might have to wait 5 to 7 minutes until unless phone setup process will be started so let's wait till then so we have directly jump into the google login screen or i would say pixel experience uh, progress screen or whatsoever you call it so you just have to wait for few minutes it hardly took 2 to 3 minutes and afterward you will be directly jump into the phone setup process so finally we have been uh, moved to the next screen next screen or i would say the phone setup process so according to this uh, like install sim it has detected in india so let's move further so uh, earlier i was thinking to cut down but many users have said that please don't cut down cut down this process at this always help us so i am just doing the same so according to your sims and preferences you can choose and uh, choose anything so i'm just doing my preferences afterward you just have to uh, connect to your wifi so let me enter my credentials so finally after entering that particular credential now the background activities are checking for the updates for the google play services so it will take some time like it has just opted for the new update and it is installing it so this is a usual uh, like payload time and so on so finally we have moved to the next screen where we, it's asking do you want to copy data but i will always prefer to set up as a fresh but again it's depend upon your uh, like uh, likings so again i always uh, discuss about this thing so whenever you are installing any custom rom or flashing any custom rom it is sort of factory resetting or hard reset so in that particular case you will be reminding of your i would say you you should be remind of your pin your last google associated account on your la, uh, like uh, on your machine so i am just entering my last pin so if it will be legit then it will pro, uh, allow me to proceed further so these are the google sign in process this is just that you just will be uh, entering uh, google account and afterward it will do its uh, some of the settings so i am just going to skip this part afterward uh, it will do like google services yeah so we just have to tap it again do you want to set up a uh, login screen yes so i would say fingerprint is working absolutely fine and i'll surely uh, show you this in uh, in this particular video as well so let me just add up fingerprint so i've just added the fingerprint and now it is asking for the final setup so afterward it will directly jump into the home screen so by default pixel experience is on the base of system navigation so a uh, navigation gesture so by default you will won't be able to see two button three button and so on so let me just remind you or let me just confirm you that we are uh, successfully able to install the pixel experience so this is pixel experience latest build with the first january and so on apart to this again the same bare bones structure where we have record uh, camera apps and so on and if you want to change this particular system navigation you just have to go to system after the gesture then system navigation and you can select two button three button i always prefer two button just for the simplicity but let me show you one more thing if you are using gesture if you want to go back either you can use this or either you just swipe like this from the left and you will be going back but let me just uh, revert it to the desired one which i really like at my side and apart to this let me show you the camera so this is a very bare bones structure or i would say very basic structure of the camera so you surely uh, install the g cam which we have provided you in the blog article and a part of this the same quick settings and one we we'll surely be providing you a de uh, like dedicated review of this particular room as well but from a battery's perspective it's a best room that i have uh, i have used in last 30 to 35 days you can try it and if you have some problem do let us know and we'll try our level best to convey the same to the developer as well 
so hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart to this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks